me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today we find ourselves in Hampi. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Okay guys, uh, welcome to Hampi, 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 Hampi. Check it out. So this is a, a wall, <laughs> and another wall, and another wall. There is so much here, so, so, so much. Like I could go on forever and ever if you see down here. But I've selected like my top 10. Uh, the first one on there is the Elephant Stables. Now, I have seen some signs up saying no recording, so I may have to switch over to my phone, I'm not sure. Don't know, don't know, but I'm gonna try. So first, yeah, I'm going to the Elephant Stables, and then the Lotus Mahal. Uh, Lotus Mahal I can see from here, actually, and then actually right next to it anyway is the Watchtower, which you can see over here, hang on. Let me turn this around. So there's the watchtower, Lotus Mahal, uh, and then somewhere over there is the elephant's stable. Okay, when we get there, I'll tell you a bit more about it. It is hot, guys. Hot. For some reason, I don't feel that hot. I feel that it is hot, but I, I don't feel hot. Maybe I've just got used to the heat these days. I don't know. don't know what it is. But yeah, for some reason right there, over there behind me, there's a um, sign up saying no, no filming. But I think that's more in terms of like, this is like commercial or weddings or things like that. So I think like for myself, it's fine. I think, but we shall see. Whoa, it is hot. I should probably, could have probably rode the bicycle all the way down here, but we'll, Come this way anyway. But yeah, it's hot guys, definitely bring water with you. Some of the places, like over here behind me, they have, like in the car park, they have a few like little stalls and things. Uh, there's not too much. Like uh, I actually I wanted some food as well, but yeah, all they've got is coconuts. Coconuts, water, lemon, drink, and like some handicrafts and stuff. So yeah, not what I was looking for, but anyway. We're in Hampi. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, last night I uh, went up Mat Matanga Hill, had a look over everything, got the view, got scared by monkeys and the heights. Uh, but yeah, got to see everything. Like it's definitely worth you know, conquering your fear and getting up and over there. Uh, wow. So that there is the watchtower. I know that. Don't have much information on that one, sorry. Because it wasn't really on my... But I think there was a watchtower in every corner and they seem to have fallen down. And it is, you know, it, it was like I was saying um, yesterday again. You know, um, the fact that they've got watchtowers, you know, they, they know that there, there was you know, a lot of invading forces from various places, I believe. And, um, gosh, where is, no, that's Ranga Temple. Is this the stable? No, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is the Ranga Temple, okay. Ah, here's the stables down here, obviously. Cool. Definitely could have brought the bicycle down here, guys. Oh, silly. That was just, you know, man with a stick again. Actually, I don't think he had a stick, but he had a hat and a uniform. So, you know, what can he do? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit confused, guys. So, you want me to go that way? This way only? Yeah, entrance. Okay. Don't really like being told what to do, to be honest. Like, why put a sign? 
saying come this way if you can't come this way but I guess you have to there's a certain route you have to go you have to go to the Lotus Mahal first I guess I don't know a bit strange but okay I mean, you know it's protecting the place so I understand it and obviously me being here by myself without guide or anything you know in a way security could be my guide <laughs> okay I'm going to turn off for a little bit just because it's hot uh, yeah, you have to get a ticket. And apparently the ticket is this way somewhere. It's a ticket counter. And it costs 600 per day. So yeah, from sunrise to sunset, you got to get your money's worth, I guess. Um, but it allows all viewing of all places. But there is a, a handheld camera fee, which I guess is what I'm filming on, uh, of another 25. So yeah, we'll try and work out which way the ticket counter is. Okay, tickets over there. So yeah, this is this place. There's obviously brand new. Uh, there is a cafeteria here, so I may get. Well, it doesn't look like they've got much. But yeah, this is the ticket counter, I think. Hello. Hello. Uh, one ticket. 600. Yeah, and then I'm, I can film on... Only cash. Uh, yeah, cash is okay. But I can film huh? uh, camera? Yes, sir. You it's okay? Your camera there. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. Okay. And just 600, yeah? Yes. Sir. How are you guys doing today? Good? Hot? Yes, sir. Hot. It's no, hot today. Yes, it's a ride zone, no? Huh? A ride zone. That is the reason it's hot. Ah, okay. okay. You have a change? Maybe? Mm. Okay, don't you worry, my friend. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, 600 for foreigners. Uh, I think 50 for locals or something. I think. Uh, I'm going to get some food. This is the ticket. All right. I don't want to lose that. We had like a date on it. Yes, 17th of February. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I better uh, try and change my flight ticket pretty soon. Uh, let's just see what they've got in the cafeteria. Mm. Okay, yeah, not too much there. So, I think I'll skip that. Good, they've got toilets here. I mean, you know, the entrance fees, you know, sometimes do annoy me, particularly when they're so different for foreigners to locals. But, you know, we supposedly have more money. Not that I do, but, you know. But I understand it all goes towards, you know, for example, this. You know, building the toilets, building this place. You know, just keeping it all going and running and safe. It's fair enough, I think. You know, that we should pay something because, I mean, they're, it seems to be that they're quite well looked after. And even like being rebuilt and things. Obviously that's from an outside perspective, which I think is, it's okay. <laughs> There is shops over there, but I think I need to go see something. Because I've been talking for now at least 10 minutes and you haven't seen anything apart from the outside of this wall. So let's go in. All right, all right. I wonder what this guy's gonna say. Ready? Is he gonna be grumpy? Uh, so it's, that's only 40 rupees for, uh, for Indians. Oh, free of cost. Oh, okay. Without tripod. It's free of cost. Uh, it's 50 cheaper, so it's only 550 if you're um, if you pay online. Hello. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Zen Hana enclosure. Let's have a look. So that includes Lotus Mahal, I believe. 
So that's this place, the wall. And actually, wow, it's, you are here. Yeah, so it's this, that's the enclosure there. That's where we are. So I'm gonna just do this very slowly. Zena enclosure is a structural complex with tall enclosure walls and is accessed through small openings, one each in the east and west walls, and three in the north wall. The openings are much rebuilt and present and present a doorway at the north and south serves as the entrance. Oh, there's three watchtowers. Now I can see another one over there. There. <laughs> Looks like we're going to go to the Lotus Mahal first. This here is the basement of the Queen's Palace. Dun, dun, dun. I'll get you a bit closer. Oh, look. Grounds are kept quite nice as well. Look. There's no rubbish. Wow. Okay. See, I mean, it, it pays to pay, I think, because it's such a better experience. Although there are you know, some bits of rubbish around, but. I think like, yeah, I think it's, it's obviously kept quite well. So, Lotus Mahal, built in the 16th century, this place was like a chill out zone for the queen and her friends. It's named after a lotus because it looks like one. Mm. Yes, it's a beautiful mix of two styles of architecture, making it a pretty unique hangout spot. So those two are kind of Indian, Hindu and uh, Islamic Middle Eastern. You can kind of see that, can't you? How cool is that? Awesome, guys. Now we're going to move on to, we're going to say goodbye to Lotus Mahal. We're going to say hello and move on to the elephant stables. Okay, let's go. This way. Oh, it is hot, I tell you. So maybe that's why that lady wanted me to go around that side, to get the ticket. While I don't like being told what to do, obviously there are rules, there are procedures that need to be followed. And yeah, definitely happy to give money, donate, you know, to help uh, sustain this amazing place. Because it's blowing my mind. Like, yeah. Pretty amazing. I don't know what I thought when I was coming here. I thought there was going to be like two, two like things to look at. But there's like, I don't know how many, thousands? No, there's not thousands. But there may be a lot. Okay, so now, dun dun dun. Let's uh, get a bit closer. But these are the elephant stables, I do believe. Wow, and you can actually walk inside them. Great, because it's too hot. This large structure provided shelter for the royal elephants. Constructed from finely cut large stones, it features domed chambers, as you can see here. With a series of interconnected, although not on this piece, but on the others, there are doors. Maybe that was a whole door there, actually, that they've kind of sealed up. I don't know. Oh, maybe that way. What's in here? What goes on in here, guys? Oh, those look like stairs to go up. There does seem to be more up, but maybe just not for us. Yeah, so it features domed chambers that showcase a blend of Hindu and Islamic architectural influences. See, this is very this is interesting for me. Yeah, that definitely goes up there, doesn't it? 
Oh well, we're not allowed to go out there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> the symmetry and grandeur of the stable with its series of interconnected chambers highlight the importance of elephants in royal ceremonies and processions. Yeah, which is quite obvious. And how many are there? I can't remember. Twelve, I think. One. Let's count them together, shall we? Are we allowed to walk on the ground? And maybe the middle one isn't one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Sure. But yeah, you can see here there's like a uh, an upstairs, upstairs bit. This here is said to be the guard's um, kind of room, guard's house. So I guess maybe these elephants were also taken into battle, it could have been. Or at least they were guarded, they are probably very highly prized. But they're massive, look how big the doorways are. I mean elephants, well the elephants I've seen could probably go maybe up to that brick there. But, you know, who knows? I think Indian, aren't Indian elephants smaller than African elephants as well? Just saying. And actually, like, this, this, this must have been rebuilt. And I, I think that's a good thing. What do you guys think? You know, should, should historical structures be left as they were naturally, although some have been destroyed on purpose by you know, invading forces or something. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do when you get to a place is, or well, back in the day, I guess, when you're an invading force, is you um, just try and destroy the, the things of significance, i.e. the structures. And this is quite an amazing one. Now, I don't know if it had been destroyed in an invasion or if it's you know, fallen apart over the years, but it looks pretty well intact. So for me, it is actually hard to say. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's been rebuilt or what's, what's, been, what's been going on. So if you know, let me know. Tell me down below. Okay. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the guard thingy. So yeah, guard tower. Sorry. Guard rooms. So like their quarters, I guess. And then watchtower in the background. There's the Lotus Mahal over there. Obviously, then we've got the elephant thing here. Oh, I don't know if my hat was big enough. I still feel like I'm getting a sunburn. I take that back, guys. I'm definitely feeling the sun. <laughs> Hello. Hello. They can't understand Kannada. English. Uh, English, yeah. I can say Namaskar. <laughs> and Namaste. Namaste. Oh. Which country? New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Which oh. there is? Huh? How many days? How many days? From the New Zealand you came here. Uh, in India, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Where are you from? You from Hampi or? Uh, no, from other district. Our, di uh, our district? Other uh, district. Oh yeah? Which one? Where? Chitradurga. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good. Bye. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is the guard's quarters. Very interesting. Here is Hanumanji. Hanumanji. Because Hanuman, um, so he was like the devout uh, servant of Rama in the Ramayana. Ah, here he is again. And he is the kind of symbol of strength because he was always said to be this, one of the strongest gods I believe in a Hindu from what I remember so as you can see uh, it looks like they've put all these idols in here maybe to keep them safe, I don't know this is Naga, so that's like the snake, serpent I don't know some of them Nagini Bhairavada, Memorial Stone, Garuda. I always know Garuda is like uh, the Balinese Garuda, Garuda, which 
Is it Hanuman? You can tell it's Hanuman because his mouth is a bit bigger and he's got this tail. You see this tail? You? Tail. When I was younger, I wanted to be an archaeologist. I guess this is kind of what I'm doing now, no? <laughs> um, kind of a social media archaeologist. Ganesh. Ta-da. So Ganesh, uh, um, among other things, is said to be the god of travelers. Uh, see, this one I don't know. I don't even know how to say a B-H-A. Bahar. Bahaiva, brother, Bhairava. This is Nandi. So Nandi is the bull. And I've been to Nandi, but in Fiji, which I wonder if that's why it's called Nandi. I don't know. The bull. Lakshmi. I know Lakshmi. Lakshmi is like um, the one of good fortune. A, a freeze. So a freeze is like a a relief like this of a hunting scene. Here you can see hunter with a bow and arrow hunting a some sort of deer, I believe. And here they are, strung up, being taken back to their place, I guess, for some foods. Hello. This is Vishnu here. Karuda. Nagini. Human, wow, there's a human here. Ganesh again. And another freeze of... And a very nicely done one of Hanuman there as well. Now one thing, actually, and I think I'm going to try go there tomorrow, is that there is a Hanuman temple that's over the river. It's over the river, so I'm not going to go there today. Um, but it's said to be the birthplace of Hanuman. So that's interesting. Hanuman is, is my favorite. Going to have another look over here and over here. So here you can see it's all kind of still either to be rebuilt or it's just fallen down, you know? So I imagine, I mean, this is just what I imagine that this was like this. I don't know. Although that on top, the black on top, I feel was original. And a lot of this may have been original, you know. So it's like, what, 16th, 16th century, like 1500s. So it is, what oh, maths, 500 years old. It's pretty cool, no? Right, uh, I'm gonna go find my bicycle and get some food, I think. I can feel, some, I feel a bit, so yeah, it's food time. Oh, this was the guard house. That was the elephant stables. That was Lotus Mahal. And there are a couple of watchtowers around watching us. So we better not mess about. All right, guys, we're gonna go to the next one. Uh, well, get some food, actually. Get some food, 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 okay. This little guy here. Can you see him up on the? Uh, there he is. There he is. Can you see him? Sunning himself on the rocks. On the heffalump, uh, on the elephant. Obviously, being uh, cold blooded creatures, they like sunning themselves out in the sun. If you didn't know, that's how they heat their blood. Well, since I'm here, I'll tell you about the guard structure, guard's house. Yes? Okay. This massive structure is built at the right angle to the northern end of Elephant Stable. Though popularly known as Garb's House, it has also been referred to as Concert Hall and Treasury. This rectangular structure measuring 
42 meters by 12 meters faces south. In the front, it has a high veranda with high arched entrance flanked by five arches either side. No, right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough reading. Let's go. All right, guys. We just stopped here. This place. Wow. For some food. I just ordered some, I think it's like, uh, I think it's cauliflower um, something, Manchurian maybe, deep fried, kind of stuff with bread stuff on it. Uh, that and a couple of chapati. Uh, just as a snack. Just as a snack. Uh, where are we exactly? So if you go on Google, there's not actually much food down like down where we just were. Um, technically the nearest food is actually actually where I am. Oh I'm not even actually where I thought I was. So on Google I'm in a place called near a place called Ersha Coconut Shop. That's E R E S H A shop coconut shop because there's coconuts here but um yeah there's not much food around there is like a food zone which i thought is where i was going in dina food zone but yeah i didn't quite make it there uh been past like a few of the other sites actually that i want to see but i just needed some food first so we're just stopping here for a snack water chill because it is like 35 degrees I think I saw um, yeah bearing in mind though we've only got two and a half hours because uh, everything kind of closes at, at six o'clock for everything that's the mountain doesn't Mata, uh, Matanga which we went to last night that's like uh, I think over 24 hours but a lot of the other sites the archaeological sites um, yeah they all close at six and there is a man with a whistle that goes around and ushers people out but yeah so i think i might well, i'm going to chill here for a bit maybe just go to those last two things and actually what i might do is because i do feel this video may have got a little bit long okay i'm sorry hey no problem no problem uh yes yeah, so i'm gonna just stop this vlog here maybe I'm gonna enjoy this food but that'll be on the next vlog so make sure you subscribe for that come along we are still got plenty to see you gonna go to at least two more sites today um, so yeah I'll see you on the next one until then keep on drifting check out the food, food.